Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to create this kind of custom 3D maps using Mapbox Studio and a plugin of Figma named MapCycle. So let's first go to mapbox.com. All right. So here we are. So in the product section, uh, go to Studio and click on get started so if you don't have an account just create one it's really simple and they're gonna be asking your billing information um, but don't worry about it they're not gonna charge you anything and even if you don't have a card just close the window and sign back again uh, sign in back again using uh, the same email and password and that should work so yep now we are gonna click on this create a map in a studio so it's going to load the styles for us that we're going to publish um all right cool so here you can see that i have my previously published styles list and uh, we're going to click on this new style button and here you can see some templates so i'm going to pick monochrome and uh, choose the dark version I really like this one because it, it looks clean um, but if you want you can go with other templates uh, or even with the blank one but you need to keep in mind that if you go with blank um, then you need to style everything from scratch so for this time being we are going with monochrome and we are going to customize this one and it's going to load the map for us cool we are here so I'm gonna search down my place all right so I'm here all right so um, I'm gonna hold down my control key on trackpad to tilt it and in the component section um, we are gonna go to buildings and turn on the 3d buildings cool so we have the buildings and we're gonna adjust the opacity um, let it one for this let it be one for the, uh, for this time being and I'm gonna change the point of interest from text only to icon only and also I'm gonna reduce the label density and I'll turn off the road names right cool so it looks more clean and to change the color of the buildings go to the layer panel and go to buildings so one thing you need to keep in mind that if you want to change anything any stuff then you need to click on this override button first because we are overriding the templates that we actually selected so uh, right now I'm gonna change the building color to something white all right cool so it's fine and uh, oh oops and um, if you spend some more time then you really can come up with more beautiful maps using this tool for an example you can go to this land and water click on this water click override and change the oh, okay change the water color so these are the waters over here this is a lake cool so um i'm gonna leave here leave this here right now and um i'm not gonna publish this one uh, you can publish it and use the tokens and style URLs but uh, right now we are going to click on share and go to draft and here we are going to use this access token and this style URL in Figma so I have copied the access token I'm going back to Figma and I'm going to create a frame over here right and um we are gonna search down map cycle uh, 
in plugins run it right so over here you can see this uh, logo just click on it and go to reset access token cool set token and I'm gonna copy again the access token just to be sure paste it set the token and we're gonna go back to my box again Let's copy the style URL and then um, I'm gonna add a custom style here right I'm gonna paste that so all right cool so here we have our new map cool cool so I can zoom in on tilt using the same keys all right so I like this one cool just create a map oh I forgot to select the frame but not a problem we can make it bigger cool so here we have our map uh, 3d map um, all right cool so if you learn something new just um, let me know in the comment section uh, if you want to know more about um, advanced techniques of Figma um, let me know about that also so I, I, I'd really love to help you guys out take care